we have 36 mil f 6.3 so everything in focus a low iso because it's still kind of bright and then just a shutter to expose the image you can see we're close to the edge of the histogram not all the way the skin to it is pretty well white balanced as well so the first thing we're gonna do is like he's got rich contrast so i know work has to be done in the curves so we've got a lift to the blacks here and then in the color channels a dip to the uh, dark shadows there and then a real slow bloom to the highlights there this is going to add in a good amount of contrast and then a good amount of brightness up in the brighter areas we need to counteract a lot of what the curves have done let's brighten drop the highlight so we can see all that detail there we're pretty good like for contrast and stuff and then just drop the clarity for a glow softening to the image and then quite often I see people doing texture up a little bit just for a bit of grit and then dehaze can sometimes be really helpful to bring the highlights in kind of have a similar effect to dropping the highlights here is what dehaze has sometimes so in split toning we're just going to add in some blues and teals so in the highlights we're going to go with a teal and just bring that up a new thing you can do in this color grading is play with the luminance. I, I don't do it too much, but it looks like it's quite a harsh brightness there. So that's what that is going to do. And then balances how much of the shadows or highlights you want to work with. Shadows, we're going to add a blue. It looks so warm at the moment in the shadows. We just need to cool that off a little bit to HSL, say yellows for example to the left, oranges to the left, we'll start to get our tones really close. These oranges are maybe a bit strong, um, come back. We want teal, just a little bit. Aquas, no. uh, let's really bring out the yellows. Oranges. So we need luminance. So hold on, we'll finish. Luminance. So if you just look at these down here, yellow brighten. It just creates a real punch to the lighting. Maybe oranges as well. Uh reds. The subject. Let's make the subject pop by doing the reds up. I'm gonna jump to some filters because like there's some obvious ones we need to do. So top right. So top right, we'll just try to like bring back some detail. So we'll just go exposure down a bit, just a bit, so it's not too obvious. And then highlights brings back a lot of that. And then got another one here, like we just want this light hit. It's definitely a hit that's being put in. So if we... and then if you want more orange, put in some purple. And then brightness for that shine of light hit. And then down the bottom, we just we just want to darken it a bit. So back up top, we just want overall brightness to contrast. And yeah, we are good if we enable profile corrections as well. And then touch of grain. Personally, I like a touch of grain always. Vignette, something like that. Strong feather, just for making it really subtle. And there we have it. So, so here's our before and after. Real simple edit that just adds a lot of punch. Set, after, set, after.